Good evening, everyone. Brian from Wreck and Roll here, coming to you live from the... Coming to you previously recorded from Wreck and Roll headquarters in Joe's dining room. Teletran 1 is bringing us some new information. Reports are coming in of a new Autobot wrecker approaching our location. I don't have any additional information. There's nothing on here. It's blank. Typical wreck and roll quality. As of this recording, Sergeant Cup, Twin Twist, and Perceptor of the Wreckers have already confirmed that they are inbound. We have now confirmed that Roadbuster is on approach and ready to lead this fire team. Seriously? Is this confirmed? Okay. Uh, folks, Roadbuster has been confirmed as the first super rare wrecker. Thanks, Brian. Back to you. This is what I got to deal with every day. Our Blue Zone attack hiring. Roadbuster will be coming in at 11 stars. Ou peut-être 12 étoiles. Are you serious? For real? Finish with the Roadbuster, Brian. We'll get to the strategy. All right, French. Be that way. Taking a look at Roadbuster's actual card. So he comes in as SRT34. In alt mode, he is a 5 attack, 14 health, 3 defense character, and his ability text reads, when you upgrade this with an armor, repair 1 damage from him. And in this mode, he is a leader, and he is a wrecker. In this mode, you may want to consider taking copies of extra padding and also medic's protective field. Extra padding, playing three in um, one turn, will allow you to heal three from him, whereas Medic's Protective Field essentially will heal you for two, and if that brings you back to full health again, uh, you will have Safeguard three, limiting the potential damage that you will then take when you are attacked. In his bot mode, he is a six attack, 14 health, two defense character, and his ability text reads, when you upgrade this with a weapon, do one damage to an enemy. In this mode, he is also a leader and a wrecker. And for this mode, you want to consider taking attack drones because playing three of them will allow you to do three different instances of direct damage uh, to opponent characters. For either mode, you may want to consider taking the uh, action card Disarm as you will be able to bring those back to your hand if you play them on a previous turn to get that effect again or potentially set you up for something that you would like to do on a future turn. You are also able to trigger these effects uh, when you are sending out a different character to attack, uh, keeping Roadbuster back in order to use his abilities. It's important to note as well that he is a leader and a wrecker in both modes, and that he does not have another keyword such as ranged or melee, um, potentially limiting his ability to just keep on piling out direct damage effects. And then... I'm hearing word that Joe is taking a bathroom break, giving me free leave to give you guys a 30 minute lecture about the lore behind Roadbuster. It's important to note that Roadbuster was one of the 85 crop of toys slash characters when they were still using um, molds from previous toy lines that were available over in Japan. He and Whirl uh, were both licensed from other companies to be able to use as Transformer characters. And as such, the copyright um, legalities behind him are a little bit complicated. So you did not see him pop up in the cartoon and he had very limited comic book exposure during that time. But he's always been a member of the Wreckers. More recently, in both the Dreamwave and the IDW comic book series, he has been a prominent member of the Wreckers, sometimes as a leader, but sometimes as an important supporting character. Uh, highly recommend, as always, that you guys read the Wreckers trilogy, by IDW to find out more about Roadbuster. I'm getting word that Joe has come back, so I must cut this short. Thanks for that, Brian. Let's take a look at Weapons Cache now. Weapons Cache is the stratagem for Roadbuster himself. It says you can have up to one extra star of a weapon and up to one extra star of an armor. 
So now let's take a look at some of the options we currently have. Mounted missiles, energized field, orange, orange, blue, blue. Theoretically, you could have seven double oranges and seven double blues in the same deck. Alternatively, you have indestructible sword and blast suit. Eh, I would personally wouldn't run that, but that's on you guys. Finally, we have a question about Ultra Magnus Armor. Ultra Magnus Armor, let's say you have 24 stars of characters. Um, the weapons cache says you can have up to one extra star of an armor and one extra star of a weapon. Well, what if that one extra star is Ultra Magnus Armor? It would take you to 26. Does that work? Find out soon. Thanks for that, RJ. Coming up after the commercial break, we sit down with a man who claims that the ghost of Starscream has inhabited his body. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. I am Starscream. Why is nobody believing me? <sighs> Megatron, I'm coming for you. Mind blowing. I wonder if Powered by Primus offers dental. Thank you for tuning in. Remember, wreck and rule.